saying, hold it, hold it, hold it, but we're not really hold it, hold it, hold it. We got to change our way. It's inside. We are not raised around like we are actors in different things. So now we got to change our way of doing things. You can't be conformed to all this stuff going off and up. You know, you got to be able to turn it down. No, I don't need it. I don't want it. That ain't the way to go. You know, that ain't for me. You got to get rid of all that stuff and whatnot. And be called out of the world because the world, the behavior of the world, and the custom of the world is all corrupt. So you got to be conformed. You got to change and different things. So, you know, and all that's telling us that be acceptable to God. And if you change and, and get your mind renewed, like the scripture is telling us, when you get your mind renewed, that means you got to change your way of thinking. You got to have a new mode of thinking. And all the way you can do it is to get all the spirit got to be able to make you change the way you think. And we talk about spiritually thinking, you know, because of that. And once you, get, once you get transformed, and you know, you can go back, you know, when you be in transformed, you probably explain it to her about the butterfly, you know, I call around. My uncle just going to be blunt with you. When you become, when you stop being dirty, become to be clean, then you be transformed. You leave that dirty stuff alone and becoming clean in the Word of God. And this is just what we're going to have to do. We're going to do this stuff in a reasonable fashion. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> this is how what we're doing, what we're doing. When we're, getting, when we're going through this process, you got to be not conformed, you got to be transformed, and you got to renew it up your mind. People. That means you got to live it in the world. You've got to be a spotless part from, from the point that you find out that you know, Jesus Christ is your Savior. You've got to saturate your mind in the word of God in order to do these things. You've know, you got to study. You've got to, you know, this thing is preaching when he's preaching to you, when he's preaching the word of God. You've got to have a different approach about the attitude and all this stuff. When, and verse 1, when he's telling us about you know, renewing of your mind, and, I mean, verse 2, I'm sorry. And not being conformed and how we can be accepted and perfect in the will of God by doing the things that God wants us to do. And that's how we're going to be perfect and accepted. We got to learn how to meditate on the word. When you read the word, learn how to meditate on it and believe in the word. When things come upon us, you know, we'll know how to, you know, get through it. And because of Christ's other sacrifice, you know, we no longer have to worry about you know, shedding down the blood of the blood that shed down the blood. So any questions, comments? I mean, and then we go on to verse 3, it said, by the grace, and Paul was telling us, if it weren't for the grace of God, was in the grace, and grace is something that we don't even deserve. But God give it to us anyway, because of his love and the fact we don't deserve the grace, the, the, the favor that God give us, because look how we act, look how, look how we live, we should stay high-minded, it's telling us, you know, we try to feed us up, we try to think about what we possess and what I own and Brag about this and that. We should think about ourselves and that. We should uh, spend more time thinking about others and say thanks so much. That means, you know, you think with a rational mind and just about You don't think when you're, you can't think when you're upset. You got to be sober, soberly mind. You don't have to have a lot of junk in your mind and think about when you're making that sound judgment and whatnot. Then you know exactly what you're doing. And, and Paul is telling us uh, all this is done by it. You know, the demand of faith that God sees in us. So God sees, you know, and we're going to learn about the gift he gives and, and different things according to the faith that we have. And, and, and we have to live according to what God has given us. We don't have to worry about what nobody else is. It's, it's, you know, it's the damn or whatever. We just uh, give, uh, take note to what God has assigned to us to do the best we can to make things work and whatnot. So if there are any questions, our comments. So we owe God the form of service that He's looking for, for the thing that He needs. We're talking about, you know, being a living sacrifice to be accepted and holy to God. And then thing we're talking about being transformed and not not conformed to the world and, and whatnot. And we you know, and God has let us know that. You know, it's a process that we're going to have to go through. We're going to have to be justified and sanctified. And in other words, we're going to be you know, Christian or set apart for the thing that God wants us to do. Coming out of the we're talking about relationship to ourselves, the thing that we're going to have to do. We're going to have to live that lifestyle of moral, spiritual, spotless. Once we go through this transformation and all this other stuff, Paul had to go through a lot of things.
God, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I'm going to be a changed man from what he was to what he, what he, what he became. He became a teacher that he stuck with, and a, a, a prophet that he stuck with. He became, he stuck with whatever God assigned him to do. He stuck with it. So now, let's get, let's get our mind right. We can't do it without the Holy Spirit. We got a lot of Holy Spirit coming in the way. The Holy Spirit is not in We want to continue to be worthy. We want to continue to want to do those things. We want to continue to have those thoughts. If the Holy Spirit is in you and you have those thoughts, they can cancel it out just like <coughs> that if you are. Not. But if he's not in you might follow through on those thoughts. And the word is corrupt. If you want to be corrupted, if you don't come out of that corruption, you want to. Bottom line, you're going to do what I'm going to do. You know you're doing wrong. If you don't know no better, you might be playing it. If you know you're doing wrong, you're going to turn about and say, I've been transformed. I'm not going to this world. Y'all can have it. I don't want no part of it. And let them talk. 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 Don't worry about it just yet. Because you know where you want to go. To hell.
the word of God, and you will go out and tell somebody the word of God, you tell them exactly what the prophet told you. You tell what you've been taught coming from the Bible. Don't, don't be kind of putting that in and squeezing it up on your friend and make you know, you got to keep it real. That's the only difference I have with God. God is real. Being prophesied, and you got a minister that leads us out of ministry, you teach it. Uh, you got teacher teaching. You know, if you got somebody that teaching you the word of God, you need to be paying attention because uh, nowadays it's very certain that you're going to get the word of God. And if you got anyone that's preaching, you know, and, and they're coming from Jesus Christ because if Jesus Christ is signing and preach like you did, call or teach, that's what they're going to do, regardless of how anybody else feels about it. Or what they think about their opinion doesn't matter everybody got one but when we're talking about absolute which is the word of god what opinion do you have <laughs> anything other than that we can talk we can go back and forth i don't think that's right I, you know yada 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 all day long but when we come to the absolute what opinion do you have in it but one way the word of god so that's what we got to do in this ministry. We all minister. Go out and teach the word of God. Make sure you know what you're doing when you're teaching. You're teaching. You know, make it plain. Make it simple. And teach it with authority. Be cheerful when you're done. Show mercy to others. You know, if that, you know, if you're in these positions, if they don't you know, be, you know, uh, one of those that just point all the time and don't never do you know, it is the point. And I tell you, you go do this and you do it wrong, then I'm going to get mad, but I don't know how to do it from the beginning. So if I did, I'd be showing you how to do it, and then we all be on the same page. But if I ain't showing you how to do it and get mad when you do go do it, we got a problem. So, I, you know, in other words, I shouldn't be able to point at nothing that I can't do. I have to show, you know, if nobody else to follow through when I'm done. But a lot of people don't do that. People shouldn't be up there teaching and preaching and whatever if for real or, and dealing with the word of God if they ain't real. But God will take care of it too, but you know, just a bold, just a bold move. They'll let you know you got some bold people in it. Very bold. The food with it, 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 it intimidate God like that. Now we can all be bold when we front somebody else, but now. In front of Jesus Christ. And you know it ain't there, and he know it ain't there. And then I'm following you. <laughs> and you're doing it, you said do it with diligence. You just show mercy with cheerfulness. If you're going to do it, have a happy heart about doing it. Don't do it to be broken hard or mumble when you're doing something <coughs> you shouldn't have never done. Got it, got it, got it. You don't feel like you're comfortable for you to do it. If you think it's so, you but don't do it. If you think it's so, you got, you got to be, you, know, you got to be back and correct, proper. But same, you know, same mind. In other words, your mind got to be together when you make these kind of decisions. When you, when you, you know, when you're out there doing what you got to do. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, I just want to come in on like what you're saying, like, like, like. Like, the pastor always talk about this, like, you know, with the body and, you know, like, we like what he used to um, metaphor, like, chewing and, you know, your teeth and your tongue and stuff like that. But, like, this is, like, you know, the intent, with, like, with the body, and see, if we believe, see, like, with the body, I mean, you like, you know, like, like, sometimes, you know, I mean, saying, like, with the feet, you know, if your feet stink, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to cut them off because they stink. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to do something. You try to do something about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, but it, 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 it did just do something to me, man. Then, like, you know, if we believe, if we believe, you know. All that through faith. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what makes us want to do the service we are God by believing. You got to have that faith. Yeah. That's the whole reason why we here, because we believe. Mm -hmm. And you know, and, and like I said, each gift we got, they come from God. So, you know, and, and, and we got to show God the glory and give Him the thanks for everything you do. Even if you got to go to work and a certain job, 
He gave you that talent to learn that job so you can go do it. That's a gift so you can be a preparer. So when you go on a job, you're supposed to do it just like whether you like you wear them jeans or not. Best is the best, but your best is the best. And see, these be like these, man. He's been working with these last couple of weeks. Like, like, this right here. It, it, it works. It, it, it's really correct, so, I mean. That perfect Paul, right there. That perfect Paul, right there. Let us get them correct. So you go back over last summer, you know they had a fellow waiting to you cry. He's trying to bring it back in correction. So that's what that's what he was saying. You know, therefore, in other words, he was asking and urging them. If you go back to verse one, brother, by the mercy of God, that's what we need to do. By the mercy of God. By nobody else's mercy, but the mercy of God. That's what we need to do. Sacrifice, change our way of thinking, renew our mind, you know, and whatnot, so you can be accepted to Jesus Christ. You, you, you won't be accepted no other way. If your mind is dirty or whatever it is you're doing is dirty, your way of thinking is dirty, you know how you think, you know, and whatnot, you're thinking according to who you think you're supposed to be, and all that stuff. We shouldn't be thinking like that. Not if, not if you're a Christian. But well, see, we're here. Like, 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 see with that, like, that's just, that's what be hard for us, you know, because we don't understand other people, you know, what they part is, mm -hmm. what they, you know, what, what God used them for, mm -hmm. and you know, what they went through in life, like, you know, like, I mean, you know, different parts of the body is, like, you know, harder than other parts of the body, and, you know, different parts of the body can withstand other things that different parts of the body they can't, like, you know, like, you can use your hand for different things, then you know that if your hand is a little more tougher than you know your arm and stuff like that. Like, I mean, like all of these parts of the body, and you know, I mean, we can't. It's just like me. Like sometimes, you know, I be like, wow, these folks, like you know, they ain't gonna understand. You know, it, it, especially if they ain't getting the word, they ain't right. trying to do it. You know, they, don't, they ain't been conformed. They haven't been transformed. But I'd be like, man, why you don't understand? You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, right there. And then you be like, if you folks be like, I believe in God. Well, I, how you believe in God? You ain't trying to see God. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you how you want to go to heaven? You ain't trying to do nothing to get to heaven. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like if you go to school, if you want to graduate, how you want to graduate? You ain't going to school. Okay. <laughs> see what I'm saying? Okay. Good for a good grade. Yeah, but you ain't going to mad at the teacher because you ain't graduated. Yeah, I don't understand that. Yeah. But then, I, then again, that's what it be like. You know, that's part of the body. You know, you, you ain't supposed to understand. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's they walk. That's they travel. You know, they got to have with Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But see, at Christian, when one follows the other, supposed to be able to pick him up. You know what I'm saying? Boy, I see you weak at Well, you see me weak at You're supposed to be able to give me an encouragement to keep me from Mm -hmm. But then it'll be like, oh, like, you go to church, you go to church. Now, you know, you go to church, I go to church, I might be, you know, miss something right there. And you say, well, then you look at and boom, it'll come right to me. You're right. But you can't do that if you ain't on the wood. There you go. Mm -hmm. And you can't, uh, you know, deal with those people out there in the world if they ain't on the wood. The only thing you can do is tell them to come and try to get it. When you preach it to them and do the thing, they're going, some of them go along with you, yeah, man, you show right. <laughs> but you need to know. And you understand what I'm saying, different thing. But then you can't put too much word into that. Our, our main objective is getting yourself in and the word that's trying to help somebody else, but don't let them snatch you back. There you go. Don't let nobody, you know, change your mind about Jesus Christ like you Jews did for whatever reason they done back in the previous chapter. They start to walk away from the Sunday. They say the thing that Jesus Christ, like you said, when you go through things, you should never forget how you made it out through prayer and the work of the Holy Spirit. Because now that man turns his back on you, he give up on you. He put a shield on your head, you still breathe, man. They <laughs> believe he even got, got paid. He ain't got no conscience. But that's the way it goes. But you know, and, and Paul is trying to get us correct, he's trying to get us back on the right track. And once we get on the back on the right track, these are the things we're going to have to do in order to get to where we got to go. Got to take some time. 
and give in to the thing, spread the word of hope. They get to take out all those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah snap the tune chain now. The chain get tight, you know what you're going to do. <laughs> Quickly. So we got to stay in the world, like you said. For real, man. That's what it's all about. You got to meditate. You got to saturate. For real. You see, true believers. We talk believers tonight. You know, we get that. It's easy to drop off, but it's hard to stay on course. But it's really best to stay on course and to drop off. And that's what we got here. Everything we do, we're going to do it. We should do it cheerfully. But when it comes to the word of God, we talk about in Christ, believers, members. I ain't got no business putting down nobody, you know, and in no kind of fashion or form because if you're a believer and I'm a believer, we should be at one. We should be able to help one another regardless of what. Even if you're wrong, I ain't looking, but I'm going to tell you. Might not tell you right there in front of your friend, but I can bet you better believe you're going to get it. So we won't vote, we won't go wrong no more. Because <laughs> I've been wrong with every you and you're wrong. So that's why we're going to have a serious discussion at the end. And that's where we're going on, and that's what Paul is doing. Telling how we should act and the thing that we should do. And we should you know, take heed to what it will be, what it will be, transform. Get yourself transformed. Not me. Don't be connected to all this stuff out there. Change your mind about what you're doing. Get that mind renewed. You renew everything else. Get a new suit, new pair of shoes. New phone, new car, new everything. Mm. And your mind, you don't want to do nothing for your mind. Mm. Mind racket with all that new stuff. Get your mind right, then you don't worry about some of that other stuff mm. that don't kill you and don't even leave. <coughs> Come on, brother, did I live for you? Morning. You know, you ever hear some of people say, man, with that body. Man, put it in the eye, step down, I ain't gonna do all of this and I ain't gonna do all of that. Well, and you know, for years, I was hip to the same thing. But then I got a clear understanding. The understanding is God had to inspire somebody for the ones to come along behind. You ain't got no roadmap. This is the roadmap, and you ain't got no roadmap. You can be in it with it. You can go in it, in it. I mean, we do it any way we want to do it. But this right here, what Paul is talking about, this is the way we must do it. No other way. And then it gives God honor and praise right there. If you want to come come through the door, you got to come by Christ. Mm -hmm. No, I'm coming in through the window right there. Okay. Deep in the wall. Come on. <laughs> you know, and, and, and we could put it all in the way we want to put it and stuff. That's wrong. This is the way that God wants us to do it. He inspired somebody. He got to, he gonna inspire. If we were running for Christ, he gonna inspire you to put it on paper. Cause there's gonna be some people come along, gonna be lost. Mm -hmm. I might not be able to tell you, but you know, let me pick up this Bible and see what this thing say. Then I read this. Well, you know what? This is what he said. Yeah. Somebody's gonna somebody gonna believe it. They gonna be something they want. You ever read it and not get an understanding? You know, you just waste your time. And like you say, you know, you read it. <coughs> you need to get with somebody that can give you a clear understanding. <coughs> Man. <clears throat> when you're talking about road map, look at look at the different road map you got in church now. So that's why you see why people are just flowing away. Because they're on the wrong road. They got the wrong looking at the wrong map. That's up there. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Amen. That's the map. And that's that's who they follow, so they're gonna follow that road that map pond them out to. And if it ain't the right, if it ain't the right map. It's a lot of us on the wrong road because we were following the wrong map. And we praise him that too. <laughs> we in love with it, man. That's why I say you can't be you got you can't be conformed to this stuff. Once you know the word, you ain't got all with nobody. Amen. Amen. You can identify with the word with somebody else, right? You and know even alone. You know people be like, man, what's going on in the world? What's going on? In Read the Bible, it's going to tell you. Exactly. It's just Ain't that wrong with it? You know, it's out there, but it's people in the world. Yeah. You got a beautiful world, but it, man, it's been all day. They've been, they've been, they've been in existence from day one. Rejected. 
doing what they want to do. Run back, reject, doing what they want to do. And all the time, God is putting that front of them on them. They ain't got something to live about until it's too late. And that's what we get here from Paul is telling us a good lesson. That you got to put your mind into it. Stop and think for a minute and it takes time to get it. But once you get it, you got it. If you, you can't get it, if you don't try to you know, go to this Bible and give it to somebody that's going to give it to you. And you can tell God and change your mind something. If you, for me, I ain't been to church my life and identify when God really truly. Because a person will stick with whatever he or pray the old five that go with pray five or six and read and don't explain to me, I'm ready to go. Because he went somewhere else. You understand what I'm saying? You read, but now I might not understand. And he ain't gonna keep talking. Gone somewhere else. You got to watch that kind of stuff. I mean, that's our identity. Oh, what we got here. Might be a wrong man. Yes, sir. Can I say one more thing before you take the seat? This right here, especially <coughs> to the younger ones now, this is what you need before we leave home and get out into this world. And, you know, and, and when you mention the world, that sprung something back in my mind when I had a minister. He would come and mentor me because I was helping out with a Sunday school class and he, need, I, he know I need some some help in some of the spots, and he used to come on Sunday afternoon and sit there and mentor me. And he mentioned to the class as a whole, you need to be prepared before we go out here in this world and tell me what we want to do. We want to do it on our own. And then you fall into all these little books and all these little places. And I thought they, they family was true for us. And then the worst thing they want to say, that's a preacher dog. That's a preacher son. That's a decent son. That, you know, it, 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 it hurts. To see that, but you know, we got to face this thing ourselves. And these mm -hmm. things here, we need to know these, these all of them. Mm -hmm. We need to know that before we go and leave home, I'm going to college, I'm, uh, I'm moving to another town. Mm -hmm. We need to know this. We can't fight like we do the fly squad fighting back to, they were gone now. No, we got to have this weird over there because we didn't know what to say to them. That's true. Why you say study to show ourselves That's right. You know, a lot of people talk, but not you can look around. <laughs> <laughs> but you should want to get approval from God. So when he said study. That's, That's what Paul's gonna have to do. That's what Paul was telling us this morning. Every time you want to wrong, get the Bible. Get a correction. If you want to be correct. That's the key. You know, if you want to be correct, I'm yeah. talking like I want to be correct, but not it. So I'm just I just plenty of something. Oh, but I want to be correct. I've got to my mind already, but I want to be correct. You understand what I'm saying? It's easy. The world got a lot of stuff to offer to get us off track. But that was showing you the Bible so real, man. Like, a lot of stuff. Even yeah. though we might think we to that point where they got a lot of stuff out there. Now they. But they got more stuff out there now than they had back then. But we got to have that mindset. We got to know how to think soberly when you see these things. That ain't for me. Gotta have a same mind. Uh -uh. But once you go off and get other stuff, you become insane. Mm -hmm. You don't know what you're doing, you get done. Mm -hmm. You get yeah. done you know, to your benefit. Mm -hmm. And every time we've done something to our benefit, man, it's good. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to God, I always got to mm -hmm. But we gotta just stick with the word of God. Let's yeah. get ourselves grand for it. Get that mind renewed. Focus on the word. Yeah. Yeah. Stick with it. And do it all. Even if you do slip and slide, you know, fall short here and there, you know, we'll 